You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. The Bible in 5 Minutes. User's Manual. OK, so you've been given a Bible, or you've bought one for yourself. And you're finding it really confusing. One way it's confusing is finding out what anybody's talking about. Because instead of giving page numbers, like we do to almost any other book, Bible references are given as a book name and then two numbers. And that's confusing. The problem is that if we gave page numbers, then it would be even more confusing because every different translation would have different page numbers for the same bit of the Bible. And many of the different editions of the same translation would have different page numbers for the same bit of the Bible. So we refer to the books, the 66 of them. And if you look at the front of your Bible, you'll find a table of contents which lists the page references for those 66 books. So far, so good. But some of the books are pretty big page after page. So, back in the Middle Ages, a lawyer on a long journey divided the Bible up into chapters. So a big book like Isaiah has 66 chapters within it, all numbered. A tiny book like Obadiah or Jude just has one chapter. And since chapters are roughly a sort of page in length, that's pretty convenient. A bit later on, people found that chapter divisions were a bit too large as a grain and so they wanted finer granulation and so someone divided the Bible up into what were roughly sentences in the original languages and called them verses and each chapter is comprised of quite a number of verses and that means we can get very quickly almost to the right sentence in the Bible so John chapter 3 verse 16 often referred to as John 3.16 you find by looking in your table of contents for the book of John and that can be a bit confusing at first because the books aren't numbered but sooner or later you'll learn that John's one of the Gospels and you'll find it at the beginning of the New Testament from that you get a page number for the beginning of the book and you can find your way to the start of the book then you need chapter 3 and within chapter 3 you find verse 16 the verse numbers are either in the left hand margin or they may be little raised up numbers uh, at Full, after full stops in the text and before the next capital letter they're quite easy to find and now you can find your way around your Bible but with another problem you see most people who get Bibles assume or have been told that the Bible is God's manual for life and we expect the Bible to give instructions on how to live and for the most part it doesn't and in the parts where it does sometimes they're most confusing like the book of Leviticus, full of great big long details about rituals that no longer take place in any church or in most synagogues sacrifices and stuff and people give up on confusion it helps to remember that the Bible is a collection of books and that the books and even the bits within the books are of all sorts of different kinds of literature there are love poems, there's history, there are proverbs, there are lengthy letters and each of those gets read differently it gets more confusing still when we realize that these books or parts of books were written from roughly the end of the Bronze Age through to the Roman Empire and were written in three different languages in two totally different writing systems it's no wonder you're confused if you're just beginning one thing that really helps is to think about why it is we have this collection of books in the first place who put them together all this weird and widely different bunch of stuff how come it's all bound within one pair of covers in our world well that's because first the Jewish people across the centuries and then within a few centuries of the time of Jesus Christian people collected together the books that they found the most useful and the most true for explaining in the case of the Jewish people the story of their people's relationship with God a special relationship and for the Christian people for understanding what it meant that Jesus had come and what their belief that Jesus was God in human flesh meant for life now if you remember that the purpose of the Bible which is to tell you about God and God's love for human beings remember that and some of the confusion becomes a little easier but do try and spot what kind of text you're reading if you're just dipping into the Bible or you could get some really strange shocks bye for now